okay, so I'm interviewing my mom on music, and the reason I chose her is because I know she loves music, and she does everything with it, like, you know, cooking, cleaning, and I'm really interested on in what she has to say. So, mom, what kind of music do you like? My favorite one is freestyle. I love freestyle. And why do you like freestyle? I grew up with freestyle. Freestyle is a club music. It's romantic, clubbing, um, dancing, and it's it makes you it makes you happy. Music makes me very happy, especially freestyle. Um, Judy Torres, TKA, George Lamont, and more. Um, they used to sing with romance. Back in the days, that type of music used to make you fall in love. It's the type of music that you could fall in love with somebody and listening to it together, especially at this point in time, I sit around with your father and listen with that music and we reminisce about a lot of stuff. We love freestyle. There's not even one concert of freestyle that I missed. Okay, mom, so who's your favorite artist from this freestyle era? My favorite ones are all of them, but I could pick two of the top ones, which it would be Judy Torres and George Lamont. Judy Torres sang with so much heart that to this day, every time she has a concert, she will put people into tears and dance at the same time. Like I told you, reminisce from back in the days when you used to go to either elementary school or high school. Um, and it doesn't have to be only my generation. I see a lot of people uh, going with their kids because they put them into freestyle and they started liking that type of music. Judy Torres has a radio show at this point and her radio show is so good and she sings live and like I told you, it doesn't really have to be in a concert. Even listening to her on the radio, sing a little bit, it would take me back to so many places. George Lamont was another one. George Lamont spoke about so much love. And we're talking about pure love. Not what nowadays people listen to. It was so innocent. It was something really, really innocent. And he made a CD just like maybe six months ago. And the CD is really, really good. But... It's sad that a lot of people are not really into freestyle now. They don't put that on the radio no more because they choose to put other types of music, maybe with violence in it, maybe with curses in it. But freestyle, to me, it was nice and innocent and pure. Okay, so what other types of music do you like? Um, Another type of music that I would like, it would be bachata, salsa, merengue. I like bachata because it's, a slow jam but then again it's a dancing music and you can move to it and it has a lot of meaning to it like I told you I like romance and bachata is a romance music um, merengue is just to be in a party and dance so once you get to a party and you put merengue a lot of people are gonna get up and dance and I'm gonna be one of them salsa it's really moving um, dance music so it would be nice, and it's about romance, too. Tito Nieves is a singer. He sings salsa. He sings about romance, about dancing, how you met your first love, um, how you used to take her out to dance, how you used to teach her how to dance. Merengue is still about love. It's still about... Back in the days where um, you used to meet a girl and you used to dance, um, and you could dance close, you could dance far away, it doesn't matter, you could dance, your body will move to the music. And Bachata, Romeo Santos, I think he's one of the greatest. The reason I think he's one of the greatest because he sings to love. He sings about really falling in love. So, what type of music do you dislike? I dislike hip-hop now, nowadays. The hip-hop back in the days is way different than the one that they playing or they rapping to it now. I don't find any meaning in hip-hop. 
everything has to do with violence. Everything it has to do with cruel stuff. I don't think they respect women. Um, it's it has no meaning to it. It doesn't have a logic. So, what other type of music do you dislike? I dislike slow jams, not the romance slow jams. I dislike slow music that is dedicated either to a person that just passed away or um, somebody that is going through tough times. I don't like it because it makes me sad. When you at that point in time that um, you going through something and you listen to this type of music, instead of you getting positive about it, you get like a negative attitude. Because it's, every, it's about something sad that, that something, you know, that somebody's going through something. And music is supposed to make everybody happy. You listen to music to be happy, to um, get you in a nice mood. You don't listen to music to get sad or to cry about it. You just, that, that's the type of music that I, don't re, that I dislike. Okay, so in general, why do you listen to music? Um, I listen to music because music is a therapy for me. It's different for other people, but for me, music will make me either wake up faster, be in a better mood, um, be in a party mood. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to a party. It's just, it will make me um, really positive. It's really, it's, it's my therapy. It will make me feel way better if I put anything on of the types of music that I just mentioned you freestyle bachata merengue salsa it will make me um feel very positive of that day my day will change just listening to music I will start with music um and I will finish with music going to work I will put my music on and I will come back from work with the music on so what you're saying is like it's very therapeutic and it makes you forget about everything around you Yes, it changes my aura. Like if I put it on the train, I would not pay attention to whatever it's going on because I will be focused in the music and I will be focused in being positive and being happy, like getting ready to go to work and be awake, be very po positive and very happy. Um, so how often do you listen to music? If we're talking about a day, like I told you, I will start my day with music. Um, I will go work with music. Actually, I have the radio on in my job the whole entire day. The radio doesn't turn off. When I come home and I have to do cooking or cleaning, the music has to be on. If I'm not listening to music, I can perform right. I can work right. I feel lazy. I feel tired. Um, I feel like nobody's talking to me. Music talks to me. That's really like how it is. Music really talks to me. It's like I'm going to back in the days where I used to be in a club or in a party. And that's how I feel when I'm cooking. Like I transform my, myself to that place. I'm in a party. But yeah, I'm cooking. Okay, so out of all the music you said, bachata, freestyle... Merengue, salsa, what type of music do you relate to more? I relate to freestyle more because I grew up with freestyle. And freestyle talks about um, a lot about your childhood, talks about maybe um, where you live at, the projects, um, your first love, how you felt when you met a girl. How you felt when your parents punished you because you was going out with somebody that you was not supposed to go out with. Um, it's, it, it, it makes me go to back in the days. I grew up with freestyle, like I told you. And freestyle is very innocent. It's very, very, very innocent. But yet, it goes straight to the point of how people live to this day or back in the days. So it would be... It will be my favorite, my favorite music. It will be my favorite type because I grew up with it. I went to Catholic school. So back in the days, you couldn't dance too close to somebody 
I went to a co-ed school. The nuns were really on top of you. Um, we had chaperones, which it was every teacher in every corner looking at you, the way you dance, the way you move. So the next day, you was just telling the stories to your friend. Oh, but I was dancing with such and such. Oh, and you was dancing with such and such. But then Sister Marie came and interrupted the dance because we was getting too close. And remember that music? Remember Judy Torres? Look into my eyes. Um, remember George Lamont, that song? Oh my God, that song. It was really, I was looking into his eyes. He was looking into my eyes. We was about to hug. Then Mr. Um, Bonilla came and he separated the, the stuff. Then we had to go our separate ways. And then the next day we spoke about what happened in the party. I was so excited to talk about what happened in that party. And that day I was in love with the guy that I was, that I danced because I was listening to that music and I was dancing with him. That was elementary school. Let's talk about high school now. High school back in the days from 15 to 18, you was able to go to a club. So these clubs will bring artists like Judy Torres, George Lamont, TKA to perform. And you had to pay like $10, maybe $15 to get into the club. And the only thing you needed was your ID that as long as you was 16 years old, you could get into the type of clubs. And Roseland was one of the best clubs around that time it was really good whoever didn't go to roseland was not in so if you didn't go to roseland you was not in so i wanted to be in so my parents used to drop me to the club and pick me up from the club has, has your taste of music over the years changed but we had a deal um, they could not really pick changed. me up until every I just every celebrity that was supposed to be to there will perform. My which taste. it will be Freestyle, half an hour of bachata, Judy Torres, merengue, half an hour salsa, of TKA, half um, an hour reggae, of George reggae Lamar, was good half too. an hour of the group um, called let me never, Yes, let, let me um, not forget about reggae. I really, was really, 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 really wanted good to too. listen to but that's every one single when one of them dance to changes were Because it was reggae just about dancing, interacting with the crowd, interacting with your friends. Reggae was more It was really, really fun. It was actually It was really fun. Reggae was already when you was... 16, 17, 18. So since freestyle was your primary, you know, music, why did you add like these other type of music? Like you said, um, reggae, bachata, salsa, merengue. Why did you step away from that? I, st it's not really that I stepped away from freestyle. Freestyle was like in your younger days. Freestyle doesn't talk about sex. Freestyle doesn't talk about you taking somebody to bed. Freestyle doesn't talk about nothing like that. Um, reggae, merengue, bachata, they really do. They talk about you being more mature. They talk about the way you fall in love at your 20s, at your 30s, at your 40s. Um, so it's more of today music. But it, has, it still has that um, style of freestyle because everything stays in one in one thing which is romance so it would be that um you fall in love with somebody with with freestyle but then again you fall in love with somebody with salsa or bachata or reggae but it will be in more mature days we talk about um bad experience that you had you had a divorce you had a um a person that you love so much but it was not the right choice so now you have to be with somebody that you just, you know, you like, but you don't really love them as the way you did the other person. Or like I said, when you left um, somebody that you've been with that person for a long time, it's like that. It changes. It changes. Music develops the way you develop them too. Okay, since they don't make freestyle hits no more, and you know, freestyle was big back in the days, do you think like today in my era, people will love freestyle? Like my generation, you think they will like it? Absolutely. I think so. Um, they stopped making freestyle because like I told you, 
everybody started growing up freestyle you know it didn't talk about violence it didn't talk about a lot of things that um kids change over the years kids change like i could tell you back in the days whatever my mother was listening to which i didn't i didn't even put it in this category was baladas it's a slow jam about really 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 romantic music my mother used to listen to that and i listened to that because my parents used to listen to that and she probably listened to that because her parents did listen to that um right now every time i put freestyle i see you guys moving to freestyle i see you guys singing I will put anything on any type of music and I would really not be aware that you guys know what type of music is that and who sings that music. And I've been to the concerts of freestyle and I see kids 15, 16 years old that they had nothing to do because they stopped making freestyle a long time ago. They stopped making freestyle around the 90s. So there's no way this kid or this uh, um, teenager grew up with freestyle or listened to freestyle before unless the parents put it on. So if they like it, I'm pretty sure at this point in time, if they will still have freestyle, everybody would like freestyle because it was about singing. It was not about rapping. It was not about um, changing your voice with um, new equipments that they have right now. It was really from the heart. They could even, anybody could sing freestyle a cappella which that doesn't really exist at this time. I could tell you a story that I just saw on Facebook. Judy Torres goes to performance, private ones, um, concert ones. This girl is 20 years old. She's going to get married. So she decided to look for Judy Torres and ask her if she could come and sing at her wedding because the song that she sings come into my arms it relates to her a lot it it talks about the way she met her boyfriend and she's 20 years old this girl did not even exist when judy torres was singing so somebody had to tell her about this type of music either she heard it on the radio either she heard it on ktu either she heard it somewhere or from her parents but she found out about judy torres and she loved that type of music. You have to like something so much for that song to be on your wedding that you would dance with your fiance and this would be on your, you know, on your history for the rest of your life. She could have picked any celebrity, any other song, but she picked something of freestyle. She put that category. Um, in this era, come on, that's really, really a challenge. Um, today there's a great deal of controversy on, on, on whether music should be censored. Some have suggested that certain songs which deal with bad language or violence should not be permitted. Others suggest that um, music should have warning labels placed on the album covers to warn parents about objective um, objective language, sexual contact, or violence. So what is your opinion about, you know, censoring music? They shouldn't censor all types of music. Of course not. But I agree on censoring some type of music that they very, very violent. They talk about um, gangs. They talk about weapons. They talking about you taking your anger on another human being. They talk about not having a regular conversation and dispute about something. They talk about you just going and put all your anger on another human being, taking somebody's life. That's the music they should censor. They also should have warning labels and parents should be aware of the type of music your kids are listening to it. I just heard something about Eminem, about some guy throwing his girl, um on the river with the car while she's pregnant because he he has so much anger about cutting himself, about harming other people's. He was talking about so much anger with him and Eminem is making an excuse about, oh, it's just music. I was just doing it just, you know, to hype it up or it's not real. But some of these kids don't understand 
was reality with I'm just singing just to sing. They really don't because a lot of kids out there, they just go, they just try to look for a role model and they just find anybody to look for a role model and it's so bad that they fall into this type of stuff because some of us don't even have a warning label. Well, be careful. This has, you know, um, cursing, um, violence. Parents should be advised of this. So like that, either we have a choice whether we let our kids listen to it or whether we don't let our kids listen to it or at least sit down with our kids and be like, listen, this is not real. He's just talking. Um, if he would do that, he would go to jail. If he would do this, he would get killed. If he would do this, he, it would be, oh, even, okay, we even talking about drugs, about selling drugs, that that's going to make you, um, be rich. That's going to make you a lot of money. But yet they're not talking about when you get caught and you go to jail and stuff like that. Okay. So what is your opinion? Do you think like they should censor music like during when the person is singing live? Like, you think that should be censored? Of course. I think so. Because we hear about a lot of um, summer jams. There's not even one single summer jam that it was at peace. Either it's a shootout, somebody got stabbed, um, somebody got jumped. It's, you know, you cannot mix that type of music with alcohol once you mix those two forget it people are not thinking the right thing they thinking about if somebody bump into me you step on my sneakers i'm gonna deck you i'm gonna stab you i'm gonna shoot you um i'm gonna hit you with a bottle that's what it's all about some people take music to the heart like i take music to the heart with my romance or my dancing or my clubbing some people take music to the heart. If the music is violent, that's the type of attitude you're going to have. So we have to be really, really careful with this type of music. Wow, so today I learned a lot of things I didn't know about, you know, my mom's experience with music. And, like, you know, she went re really in-depth on, like, well, what type of music she listens to. And it's, like, it's crazy because I didn't know all these things about my mom, that she about her middle schools, you know. Some of it was kind of like, you know, weird for me, but it made me learn a lot of new things about her that I didn't know. So, I mean, this is really good and I hope you enjoy it.